Who needs to go to the gym when you can lift springs for a living? supposed to happen. So we're gonna strip the spring apart and we're gonna show you exactly why we never fix a spring that comes out of a truck that carries liquid load. So water, concrete, fuel, stuff like that. And you'll see why in a few minutes. I'll burn these out and see if I can get them to open up even more for you. I didn't even have to open up the spring to know it was going to be this bad. Every single time there's a liquid load, they always look like this. Every single time. You can see that side's real bad, and that side's worse. Let's snap it in half. This will be a good piece of steel here. A lot more energy in there. And it took off in a big chunk. But it held together. So here's a decent piece of steel and here's a cracked piece of steel. We'll snap it here and we'll snap it here and we'll show you how much resistance is on it.
pretty good. It tore right in half. Nothing. There's one good strong piece and the rest just broke real easy. Even the center bowl had more strength than that. Last one, big rotten chunk. You can tell every single point. See, it was strong, strong, strong until it found a weak spot. And the second it found a weak spot, bang. Yep. So it's like it's like searching through the steel looking for it. And you can see it's like it's like bad, bad. Oh, there's a good spot. Oh, it found a bad spot. Good spot, good spot, bad spot. You know, it's like you see the good spots are with the big tears in them. Because it had to look for a bad spot. Right. Like those would be a bad spot right in there because they're so flat. Yes, yeah, that failed really easily. Yep. And then it had to search for another weak spot. So it's, you can tell it's like looking around for it in the strength. Look at that grain structure. I don't know, that's so cool.